Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skeletal Mystic. I am back in the Garden of Hesperides. Next to the vendor, Calco's Coppersmith, to continue my series on the brand new crafted mounts. As you can see in the last video, I crafted the death mount. And this time, I'm going to craft the fire one, I do believe. Now, I've bought all the recipes. You'll, you have seen that in the, in the initial video for this series. I bought all the mounts, but I wanted to just stop by here so that you guys could see, if you didn't know, where the vendor is for this. It's this fellow right here. All right? And these are the things that you need to craft the fire mount. I've covered these before, but I'll do it again. 25 wildfire, 5 fire cuda, an ultra health and ears, a mode of transport, a parchment, ether, ectoplasm, and a perfect ruby. The wildfire you can get from several different treasure card vendors. Um, Una Moon Dancer in Chrysalis, if you can get there. Uh, Killam and Copperleaf and Zephyria will have them. And I do believe the Archivist and, Cel and Celestia will have them. I think that the school tree will allow you to craft these treasure cards. Or if you can't make it to any of those places, grab them in the bazaar, bazaar farm, because they'll be there all the time. You need the five fire cuda, the easiest, easiest place to get these. <laughs> You've been throwing them away for a couple of years now since they started fishing, is the Commons Pond in Wizard City. Just go get them there. They're, they're as thick as flies. The ultra elephant ears, you need to get those from the new one shot dungeons the Maliardi, Rattlebones, Crocopatra, and or Zeus dungeons. They will drop in there just as a random thing. The mode of transport is the same way, it will drop in those four dungeons. You need the parchment, which make it easier on yourself. Bazaar farm for it. It's a common thing. The ether, same thing. It's in the bazaar. If you happen to have them, great. If you don't, the bazaar is probably the easiest way for you to get them. The ectoplasm, same thing. The perfect ruby you can get at the bazaar, or there's a vendor in Celestia that sells the perfect rubies. Actually, I think there's a couple crafting vendors that do, but that's the one that comes to mind. So what I'm going to do now is go and get all this stuff. And then I'm going to go home and craft this so you guys can see what it looks like in actual play. All right, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I've gotten all the materials that I need for the fire mount. But <laughs> for some odd, annoying reason, the part where I crafted it didn't show up. It didn't record. I'm the question. I got a messed up screen for some odd reason. I can't. I don't really want to craft it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it on for you guys at least to see so you can see what's going on with it. And there it is. This is the fire permanent mount. Looks like this. Initially, I didn't think much of it, but I kind of like the, the, <laughs> the concept of, watch, watch, you'll see what I mean. I'll come back here and I'll go forward. I love the fire trail <laughs> that it leaves. And I kind of like how it looks like you're just like walking on two pieces of fire whenever you're actually moving around. Plus there's the little surfboard move. <laughs> that you get whenever you jump. So I kind of like that too. I didn't have this in my top five for mounts, for, the, for these new crafted mounts, but now that I've actually seen it in action, I, I kind of like it, I kind of do. All right, so this is what it looks like, the new fire permanent crafted mount. All right, <laughs> I think I've kicked around long enough. So let me go up here. All right, guys, there, here it is, the new Fire Permanent Crafted Mount. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series or other mounts or any other crazy thing you might want to see. If you'd like, leave a comment to talk to me, ask me questions, or just shoot the breeze, because I love to talk to you guys back. This is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, gamers? This is Skeleton Mystic. I am here again in the Garden of Hesperides on the Permanent Fire Mount to present the next mount in the series. As you all know from the past couple of videos, I'm doing each one of these mounts, making a small mini-series type thing, showing where to craft, how to craft, and what you need to do to craft, essentially. 